Hey, you guys, what's going on? Are you ready for more? Feed me, Seymour. Guys, we have a former CIA and FBI agent, special agent. Tracy Wilder is her name. She says, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Love Diddy will be arrested for SEX trafficking in this investigation. As you know, on Monday, Diddy houses were raided and, uh, yeah, Homeland Security, they went in there, they trashed the place. They took a box. They took two laptops, two Mac Air laptops, and um, yeah. But this CIA and FBI special agent, you know, she knows. She knows. Okay, this is her feel. She says she has no doubt, no doubt. Okay, so I'm going to play this for you guys. Hypothesis: He is innocent until proven guilty. That he will be um, arrested and well, indicted on sex trafficking charges. I have no doubt um, about that, and I do believe that he was most likely the kingpin um, of this. These girls. What that tells me, if it's out of the Southern District of New York, is this is spanning multiple states, um, and that he is trafficking or allegedly trafficking girls um, across multiple states across the United States. This isn't just an isolated incident um, in one location. And so, I have heard um, things as well about his Hamptons parties and things happening in those Hamptons parties as well. So I suspect um, more evidence may come out as a result. But if Holmes is charged with federal crimes here, but he's not in the country and he's actually in a country uh, or jurisdiction where there's no extradition agreement. How do you get him back? How, what do federal authorities do? That's a really good question. I looked up just because I was curious actually about it. Yeah. I don't know all of them off the top of my head. Some I do, some I don't. Um, but we do have an extradition treaty with them. Um, right now, though, because of the public nature of this, I have a very hard time believing that a country would allow his plane to land with him on it in their country. They don't have to let him land if they don't want to. And so I think that it would be very difficult for him to be able to land in an inhospitable country simply because they don't want him. We do have extradition treaties with more countries than I think people would think. And typically they will send folks back to us as long as we take the death penalty off of the table. And I don't believe that this is a death penalty case. It's Southern District of New York. And so I believe that whether we have an extradition treaty or not with whatever country he may or may not go to, um, they will send him back. And talk to me about what you think they have in terms of a case, because, right, you, you say they want to preserve the evidence for a potential uh, uh, prosecution against either him or someone else. There's a criminal case building. But they had to have probable cause for the search warrant uh, to be issued. And I wonder, you know, I mentioned some of the interviews. They wouldn't have had enough to just to try to arrest him first and then do the raid or they need the raid first to see what's at the property before they can build a case and build charges and then arrest them. Talk to me about the timeline of how this typically works in terms of if we're seeing a, a raid on several properties. Does that in conjunction with an arrest? Does that come before an arrest? Uh, does that, you know, how does it typically work? Typically, Jesse, it's in conjunction with an arrest. But I started thinking about this a little bit more last night, and I was was thinking that if he has videos and or his associates have videos, and they are attempting to distribute those of young male children or female children, that means that a child is in imminent danger. Mm -hmm. And so part of me wonders if this was done to stop that um, and that they will get to the arrest obviously at some point um, because you know as you mentioned typically these these warrants are served and there's usually an indictment that goes you know hand in hand with that at the same time so in my opinion it's not unheard of it's just a little bit unusual we don't typically right. see this anytime we did raids um, at the fbi of this nature we ha also had an arrest warrant uh, for the individual as well and so it is unusual but i don't want to say it's unheard of and again i'm just speculating but part of me wonders if this was still actively being distributed um, and if it is they need to shut that down immediately quite rapidly as well i think the next thing that will happen is an indictment of P. Diddy. Um, that, that's what I think, and that he will be taken into custody hopefully soon um, at some point. But honestly, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure. This is, like I said, a little yeah. bit unusual um, and that there isn't an indictment yet, although I think one may be forthcoming. There you have it, guys. There will be an indictment of Diddy hopefully soon. And the good news is no country, no matter where he's tried to land in, they will not take him. They will have to send him back. That is good news. So that means Diddy is probably still in the U.S. Diddy is probably, yeah, he, mm, I don't know. But you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Subscribe and feed me some more. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.